Hello, Sparky here. Today I want to show you a 45 kVA step down transformer. Basically, it's a 480 volt three phase, and it's going to step down to 12208 three phase four wire. And I relocated this on a recent project from one uh, building over to another. So it is a used transformer, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, again, it's a 480, or it's a 45 kVA transformer. XFMR is the abbreviation for transformer. It's a 40 volt three phase step down transformer. It steps down to 12208 three phase four wire. So this transformer actually creates its own neutral. The colors, uh, 480 volt, and the A phase is brown, B phase orange, and C phase yellow. On the 12208 volt, the A phase is black, B phase is red, C phase is blue, and the neutral is white. Bonds and grounds that are required in here, you have your water bond, a U for ground, a neutral bond, and a conduit ground. Also, you have some bond bushings, which I don't have any pictures of, but uh, we'll take a look at that in another video. On this one here, uh, the, you have the tabs for changing the voltage. Now, most of the time this comes out, uh, as a matter of fact, almost every single transformer I've ever wired comes out pre-wired. These can be changed, but uh, it's not something we really need to take a look at right now. On your high voltage terminals, you have your yellow, which is your H3, you have your orange, which is H2, and you have your brown, which is H1. And you can see the terminals are marked there on the, uh, the Bakelite. Now we have our low voltage terminals, and we're going to start off with the blue, which is an X3, the red, which is an X2 black X1 and you got your neutral and neutral bond which is XO. Okay now we'll take a look at the grounding and the first one there is a conduit ground going from the transformer on the secondary side into the panel. Then I have my ground wire for the conduit in the high voltage side that's the feed from my high voltage panel and I have uh, the U for ground, I have the uh, neutral bond jumper, and I have the water bond in there. And that pretty much takes care of uh, the basics on how one of these transformers looks on the inside. But if the, the overall here is you've got your, your high voltage up in here, and you got your low voltage down here, you got your grounding down in through here, your neutral bond jumper which goes down and around into here so use grade 5 nuts on or bolts on here as far as your connections are concerned um, use factory settings as far as the torques on this and you should be pretty well set thanks for watching and have a great day